What's going on guys, it's Marco here from Marco's Tech Talk and today I'm going to be unboxing a mid-2010 Mac Mini. It's going to have a 2.4 GHz Core 2 Duo, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, a 250 GB hard drive, and um, I forgot the graphics card, I think it's one of those NVIDIA 320M things, um, if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken there. It's the same exact logic board pretty much, um, give or take, uh, from the mid-2010 MacBook Pro that I showed you guys on this channel about, I don't know, a little while ago now. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what it is. We're gonna go ahead and hop right into this unboxing and uh, also change the RAM out on it since uh, four gigabytes of RAM today is you know not really a lot. So we're gonna swap that out. Um, I do have plans for an SSD on this thing at some point. I just haven't ordered one yet because I don't actually know if it might, may or may not have one in it right now. I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, we're gonna hop into this unboxing. Alright guys, so here's the box. It's uh, you know, not going to be in its factory box. I think I got this from like Goodwill or something on eBay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and open this up, see what we've got here, and uh, you know, take it apart and swap out the RAM and see what happens. Kind of been buying a lot of older Macs lately to bring to the channel just to kind of have some, some different stuff to show you guys. Um, I like old Macs, so it kind of worked out that I kind of got reinterested in them, a little bit reinterested, so I'm kind of excited to, uh, you know, bring those to the channel. That's the plan anyway. Um, I do have plans for them, so um, hopefully I get around to actually putting them on the channel at some point, but anyway, um, here's a Goodwill thing, so it's that. Let's take it out of here. It's actually pretty well packaged, decent enough. And that's that. It did not come with a power cable. I knew that ahead of time, so I just ordered one off of Amazon. It was like $5 or something. It's the same kind of power cable that the PS4 and Xbox One use, I believe. I hope so. That's what I ordered. Um, that's what it'll take in the pictures anyway. And I do have this RAM I'm about to put in it too. Um, it's the same RAM I put in the MacBook Pro. It's the PC3 8500 DDR3 8GB stick, which should give us a total of uh, 10 gigs on this. And I really do hope to put an SSD in this at some point. I just, it just wasn't in the cards at the time of filming, unfortunately. But when I do get one, I'll show you guys how to change it because it is a bear to change, apparently. So I'm excited to kind of give it a shot on my own. It's very loud. All right. So here it is. This is the uh, first one I've ever really seen up close, like in a few years actually. I mean, granted these were at the Apple store, um, but they're not anymore. Um, yeah, this is it. It's, uh, like I said, the mid-2010 one. This was, I think, the last one that actually had a DVD drive on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean this off a little bit because it's got this nasty residue on it. And aside from that, let's check out the ports. We do have an assortment of ports on this. Oh, it actually has a display port. I did not know that. So we've got our power in, our power button, Ethernet, FireWire 800, HDMI, I'm not sure which point, oh, I think it's like 1.3 or something. Display port, or I'm sorry, mini display port, four USB 2.0s from my understanding, um, and then a headphone jack, and I think that's a mic in, I don't really remember what that icon is, but, oh, and then also an SD card slot, so that's pretty handy. Um, as for the bottom, it just says Mac Mini on it. This is the cover here we're going to just op open up in a second. I think all you do is kind of twist this, but I have to double check before I do that. Kind of makes sense. Looks like it's locked. So, um, so we're gonna go ahead and clean this guy up real quick, and uh, we'll hop into opening it up. And that's that. It should be off now. And that's that. Sweet. That was easy. It's pretty clean overall. That's good. Um, all right. So, go ahead and zoom in on here so we can see kind of what we're dealing with. Um, looks like we do still have four gigabytes of RAM in this little guy. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull one of the sticks out. All right, now once you're here at this step, all you have to do is just push these two little, um, tab things out. And then that pops the RAM up. Go ahead and gently slide it out. Grab your new RAM, which in this case is, uh, this RAM. It's PC3, I'm sorry, it's PC3 8500. Um, doesn't say it on here for some reason, but that's what it is. Um, go ahead and take that. Pop that in. Make sure it's nice and even. 
And then uh, once you've got that done, make sure it's nice and seated properly. And just push down, and that's that. You're all good to go. Well, all right, guys, that's going to go ahead and sum up the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and leave down in the comments below whether or not you've changed out the hard drive in this type of Mac Mini before. I'm still really on the fence about it. I still really want to do it. I just obviously have not gotten around to it yet because I just got this. Um, but I do want to do it, so let me know. Um, and remember to subscribe to the channel, guys. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers, so that's awesome. And, uh, yeah, guys, thanks a lot.